Wayne uploaded this some time ago and he took it down due to not being happy with it as it was a 23 hour session with was reduced to about 18 hours as due to the floods and moving lakes. But he likes to show the highs and lows, good and bad. So here it is anyway. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Now for this video you join me back down on the linear fisheries tar farm complex and the lake I'm fishing is seven and in peg 11. Originally I wanted to um, fish uh, lake eight because that's the only lake on this tar farm complex I'm yet to fish. However that was a little bit busy apart from one swim which um, I didn't fancy. So I've come back to lake seven which I have fished before and I have blanked on before so there is a score to settle so hopefully we'll be able to do that over the next 24 hours so I've got here um, the water levels as you can imagine um, are quite high the swim itself um, you, you know it's completely underwater so uh, wellies and waders are a must on this session I'm glad I brought them so I've had to set my bivvy up a little bit further back away from the swim which isn't a problem so yeah I'm yet to get any rods out or anything I literally just set my bivvy up put the car in the car park and about to get sorted so yeah when I get sorted um, we'll get back to you see you in a bit Well, change of swims. So I literally got everything set up, the bivvy, the bed, everything. Got my spot marked out ready, wrapped um, my rods up. I was just getting sort of settled. Had bailiff pot rounds and um, he's a bit concerned about the water levels and the steep drop or went off the edge of the platform, uh, which I totally get. It was quite a steep drop. And uh, he was aware that, you know, in the middle of the night, if you went a bit too much forward, um, you might plop, plop in. And so, I'd, yeah. So he asked me politely. I didn't have to go, but he, he asked me um, you know, if I'd mind a move. I said, no, not a problem. Um, so I had a look on the iPad, see what swims were available. And I noticed as I come in, peg um, 12 on lake six was free. Um, there's peg over, peg one, that's the only other peg three. There's nobody in there today, so I've got this whole big bait myself, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna, yeah, get the marker rod back out, find myself a few spots, and then I crack on. At least I ain't got to puddle around, uh, puddle around, walk around in puddles all the time. So, yeah, perhaps it was a good thing. Anyway. We run out of time, let's crack on and get some spots sorted. Okay guys, there's the rigs I'm using. Same as usual, the rigmarole uh, tubing, the Nash lead clip, three ounce lead, and then one of the um, Gemini booms, which is down onto uh, one of the low lying Ronnie, Rig, Ronnie Riggs, and that is the Beatanana 12mm Hinders pop up. The other one is on the Nut 365. So I'm going to put this one out and then uh, get some bait over the top of them ones and then sort my second rod out. Sorry, my third rod. Right, it's going to fire a few freebies over the top of that and uh, have a cup of coffee. I think I think I deserve one for that move this morning. And uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit dry. Right.
and that will do. Oh. Put some milk in there and have them from cereal. I think they smell oh. beautiful. Right, cup of coffee time. Okay, so uh, just sorting out my spod mix. What I'm using is the Hinders prepared particles, uh, the mini munger mix. Also, I've got some of the Nut 365 12 mil boilies and the good old um, golden nuggets. So, not put too much out, probably enough for about, I don't know, six, seven, eight spods. So we'll put them over them two rods. Okay then, well, it's about, it's about 4.30. Nothing on the fishing front. Um, no liners, no shows, nothing. Um, quite a quiet day, uh, wind-wise. I've not heard any of us, any alarms going off, so I'm not sure if anything, anything else has been caught on the lake. Or, or not, I don't know. But uh, all remains very quiet in my swim. I'm not going to bother doing the rods again. I'm just going to leave them and uh, just sit on them and uh, just hope for the best. So I'm going to make myself some cheese and onion toasties, a nice hot cup of coffee, get in my, uh, get in my sleeping bag and watch a movie or something and get warm because that is getting quite chilly. Um, I might even get myself a hot water bottle tonight. I did bring it, because it is supposed to be a bit chilly tonight. So, yeah, um, that's the plan. So, if I don't see you in the night, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, and a bit of a chilly one too. Not a frost, which um, I thought we was getting. Um, quite a wet one. Early hours in the night, it just absolutely poured down. So um, got some wet kit to pack up this morning uh, when I go. Fishing-wise, a few liners here and there on my uh, middle and right rod. Um, and then a couple of hours ago, I did hear a fish bosh out. Um, so I was feeling a little bit more um, confident of a bite this morning. I mean, we've just gone seven o'clock now, but I don't know, I've got a couple of three hours left. Nice, nice hot cup of coffee, set the day off. I 
I'm not going to bother doing the rods again. I literally put them out yesterday and I, I have literally just left them. Um, even that one on the left, um, I haven't moved. I was hoping something that was shown yesterday gave me a sort of general idea of the air area where a fish or two might be lurking, but nothing to go on, so I just left it all. But yeah, still enjoyed it though. I've still got, like I said, still got a couple of hours left. Right, I'm going to enjoy my hot cup of coffee and just watch the water, just uh, see if they can, anything else dust bosh out. Right, see you in a bit, guys. Okay then guys, well that is a wrap. Um, nothing since the um, morning update today. No shows, no beeps, nothing. So I've probably got about an hour, hour and a half left. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, put my camera kit away, start loading my car with the essentials. Um, so I've got a loading bay right behind me, which is lucky. And yeah, try to dry the bivy out and uh, get that sort of half packed away. So yeah, enjoyable session. Unfortunately, I didn't get on the lake that I wanted to, Lake Seven, um, but you know, health and safety, I get what the bailiff was um, saying. It was quite a steep drop off that um, at that edge board. So, um, and I'd been tra traipsing around in waders or wedders all, um, all night. So, yeah, um, just glad to get out really. I haven't been out for a while. Um, we'll be back. I do want to do Lake 8 at some stage. And, you know, if not Lake 7, because I've got a score to settle on there as well. And then uh, that'll be the whole tar farm complex um, done. Uh, not that I won't come back, but that'll be all the lakes sort of completed. But yeah, like I say, I'm going to start packing up now. Uh, thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe, it does make a difference. Um, yeah, and we'll see you wherever it may be on the next one.